In this video, we're going to calculate the magnification value for a telescope and make some comments about magnification. The primary purpose of a telescope is to gather light, and then after that, to magnify up to a certain point. Uh, but the primary telescope function, collect light, make us uh, be able to see the dimmer objects. Let's suppose we have a primary mirror that has a diameter of 4 inches and the focal length is 40 inches. Um, so this would be an F10 system, 40 divided by 4. The eyepiece we're using has a diameter of 1.5 inches and a focal length of 32 millimeters. The magnification calculation is the focal length of the objective, F sub O, divided by focal length of the eyepiece, F sub E. So we need to uh, do this uh, division here. The focal length of the objective, 40 inches. Focal length of the eyepiece, 32 millimeters. Do you see any difficulties in doing this uh, calculation? Well, we've got mismatched units. Magnification has no units, so we need to cancel off our length units here. And I'm going to make that happen by converting inches into millimeters. There's a conversion factor 25.4 millimeters is one inch. So the inch units have canceled on your calculator, 40 times 25.4, and then divide by 32. And what I came up with was about 32 for the magnification value. 32 for the magnification. If you did calculate an intermediate number here for the focal length in millimeters, uh, 1016 millimeters for the 40 times 25.4. But that's how we calculate magnification, focal length of the objective divided by focal length of the eyepiece. Now someone says, um, I'd like to see more details and suggests that you use an eyepiece with a focal length of 3 millimeters or even smaller. You can observe here that if the focal length of the eyepiece gets smaller, the magnification value gets bigger. So we could do that, and the magnification, if I go ahead and start with the 1016 millimeters, the focal length of the objective, the primary mirror, or the uh, first lens in a refracting telescope, and I divide by 3, that's roughly 340 power for the magnification. However, I'd suggest that this is not going to be useful. It's probably just going to magnify blurs that uh, exist in the optical system and with uh, the turbulence in the atmosphere. And at telescope.com, I have no economic interest in this site. If you happen to purchase something, I don't even know, but probably can purchase something there. But telescope, not telescopic, uh, telescope.com recommends that you keep the magnification to less than 50 times your aperture size in inches. Since in the United States, uh, it's not uncommon to measure the uh, primary mirror or the uh, first lens in a refracting telescope in inches. So they suggest keep it smaller than 50 times aperture in inches. We're using a 4-inch diameter telescope, <coughs> so that would say keep it less than 200. And we violated that. Uh, 340 is just too big. Um, it's not going to be useful magnification. You might ask, well, why not change the uh, objective to change the magnification? The magnification depends on both focal length of the objective and focal length of the eyepiece. The objective is the most expensive part in the telescope. The eyepieces are relatively uh, inexpensive, not cheap for good ones, but inexpensive. So the way we adjust uh, the, and so there's that, the objective is more expensive than an eyepiece. And then the objective is usually kind of locked in to the tube of the telescope, very difficult to change the eyepiece, to untwist a little set screw, and you could put in a new eyepiece. Um, so, in practical use, magnification for a telescope is adjusted by 
putting in a different eyepiece. Don't use a focal length that's too small for that eyepiece because you will produce a magnification that does not really give you more details. It just gives you a blurry image. So if you have questions on that, uh, read a book about astronomy or ask your instructor. Magnification is the focal length of the objective divided by focal length of the eyepiece.